We could soon be saying goodbye to margarine, certain donuts, cookies, crackers, and a host of popular, popular snacks as we know them. It's all because the FDA took the first step to banning trans fats today, and that's got a lot of you talking tonight. The Food and Drug Administration has made a preliminary determination that a major source of trans fats, that's partially hydrogenated oils, is no longer, quote, generally recognized as safe. Now, if that's finalized, partially hydrogenated oils will become food additives that cannot be used in foods without approval or they become illegal. The CDC says avoiding foods containing artificially produced trans fats could prevent 10,000 to 20,000 heart attacks and 3 to 7,000 coronary heart disease death each and every year. On Facebook, we asked, are you okay with the FDA banning trans fats? Mihail Lani Young Villanova says yes, and I wonder how many greedy companies are going to suffer wanting to feed us poison right under our noses. Kathy Keen Bossenmeyer adds, we have known for a long time that trans fats are harmful. It's about time the FDA took steps to protect people who are not informed. But Charlotte Tory Bio Banks says, I'm so not okay for the government banning anything because it's bad for me. I want to have that choice to educate myself and make my own decisions about what's healthy for me or not. I am not an uneducated citizen. Well, many food manufacturers have already taken steps to limit or eliminate trans fat products already. For example, McDonald's stopped cooking its french fries and trans fats more than a decade ago. Given those health implications, do you think the FDA should take the step or should companies and consumers make the choice? Head to Facebook, like us, and tell us what you think. Paula?